Hey, and welcome back to Retro Tech. First off, I want to say a special thank you to everybody who entered into the contest here on the video that was for how to make SCART to RGBS cables for cheap and the free giveaway. I do have all the entries ready, and I did respond to anybody who entered with a number. And then coming in a couple of days, we're going to have a live show. And in that live show, I will do a drawing through a random number generator. And whoever's number comes up will be the winner of the free cables that I made in this video. And I wanted to do a quick video about this because I got posed a question and um, something finally happened basically that I thought was it would happen at some point. And uh, it happened today, but it has to do with these cables. So naturally, I wanted to show people in this video that there was the option always to make these cables. These cables uh, were not anything that is overly complicated. Uh, there is obviously some work, and you do have to have some skill and tools involved. So for $40 generally, it's probably a pretty good deal if you just want to buy them and you do, if you don't have the tools or uh, the knowledge to know how to do it. So that was kind of my point to the video that uh, there's also a way that you could save some money and make your own cables, or this is what's in the cables, because I did specifically buy a set of Wookie Wins cables uh, a while back, and I dissected them to see if there was any difference, and the standard ones are not any different than the ones we made in this video. Now, I'm specifically bringing this up because in order to do my research for this video, I wanted to make, obviously, more than one set of these cables. So I made quite a few sets. Honestly, I bought enough supplies to make 20 total sets of these cables if I want to. Now, some of them I'm not going to be using. Uh, I'm not even going to be making. I'm using some of them, uh, these extra cables, for things like devices to run RGB. So that's not even going to be an option. And then a lot of the other ones are going for my personal stuff in my setups. But I did have an, a surplus. I also told patron members that if they wanted to get a set, I'd sell them to them for less than what they would cost them to get them on eBay. But that did leave me with about five extra sets of these cables that I wanted to offload. So I advertised them a little bit on my Facebook page for RetroTech, and then I've advertised them too uh, just briefly on the Facebook page for Broadcast Monitor Specialists. And then I had made my eBay listing, which I have here, and I'll show it to you, but I had my eBay listing for the cables, and once I... Uh, Basically, here's my listing here. I had them listed, the five extra sets. I had my five extra sets here for $38 a piece. And that was it. I wasn't planning on, you know, going in and just basically to undercut the price. I was just planning on going and selling the five leftover I had because really it is quite a bit, a lot. I mean, it's a lot of work to sit there and make the cables. Uh, but, you know, it's 15, 20 minutes of just soldering work and, and stripping cables probably could do it in a little bit less time if you've done it enough but anyway my plan was never to you know fully stock these forever uh to the general public it was just to sell the leftovers but i had the listing up there for maybe a day or two i've not even sold a single one of these cables on ebay and i get a new message sent to me and this is from wookie win and again I got this message today. It says, in the retro gaming community, it is generally frowned upon to sell knockoffs of other people's products. You know, I hadn't had a single contact with this person, nothing. So um, at first, I kind of got a little bit, you know, naturally, my human instinct made me get a little bit upset because I was just, I was just kind of seeing things from my perspective where I'm trying to you know, show people that some of these products are uh, easily made on your own, but that also, of course, is going to affect directly Wookie Win sales, right? Because he's the one who's been making them. But my problem, uh, you know, of course, was the response right away without even, you know, reaching out and letting me know anything. But again, I didn't really know what I was going to be expecting because I was making something that somebody's been making money off of for years and I was showing how to make them. And not only that, you know, he's probably concerned that he's got some competition selling his product, which at the just the immediate, you know, right now, yes, but I'm not planning on keeping this ad up for this eBay. I just want to run out of these extras, to be honest with you. And then I won't be constantly selling them on eBay. I might provide some to any Patreon member who wants some 
or I will sell them with any restored monitor. But I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you that even if you just put these things out, because again, this, this, this guy, he, it's, it's kind of a, a little bit of an interesting situation. This is a good point, you know, and it is generally frowned upon to sell knockoffs of other people's products. The problem is, is he doesn't sell a specific product that's really anything, um, specific enough, I feel like, to make a complaint. I mean, for, just for an example here, this is on another website. This is Retro Gaming Cables, and they have uh, they make all kinds of gaming cables, have for years, and he's got the same exact adapter here. It's the same pinout inside. Uh, the only difference is, is instead of the gray cable, he's decided to use, or this cable manufacturer has decided to use a black cable. So what am I supposed to say that, you know, Wookie Wynn, did he copy this person, this design, or did they copy his design? So this is really not um, an applicable product. And again, I'm not going to jump down in the weeds directly with uh, somebody like him because I really don't have any gain to just get here and back and forth, try to justify a point of view to him. When obviously, from his point of view, he's directly going to be losing sales from this. But the bad thing he did is instead of reaching out to me and talking to me maybe about what other things he offers with his products that are better than just the simple version that I made, he came right in and assumed that I was coming in selling stuff and being an immediate competitor and almost used like a uh, kind of a, I mean, it's, it's a very light kind of, ta lightly aggressive <laughs> tactic to get me to not sell it by saying, you know, it's frowned upon. But again, this is not a unique product. This guy's there's nothing really that unique about what he's made. I kind of proved that in the video. It's all eBay parts that you could buy specifically on eBay. So anyway, I wanted to make this video to kind of just pose a question to you guys. Is this a valid question? Is um, again, I feel like it is for some stuff if it was something that was proprietary, but even in something like uh, RGB mods, for example, the Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 have numerous RGB mods available that are made by different people. They all are slightly different. A lot of them are exactly the same. Does that make one person uh, like bad for selling it and another person because another person claims they were selling it first? Or if you have extras of a product that you made, uh, do you feel like you should be basically harassed for just trying to offload them? I mean, naturally, I don't think you should be done like that. But if you were copying something that was uh, something put somebody put a lot of time and was very specific, it was patented technology, and you tried to copy that, then yeah, that's that's just not right. But again, uh, I just wanted to kind of bring up this conversation and see if you had any opinion on it. Please leave me a comment below because I'd really love to know uh, what you think. And then I wanted to kind of bring one more quick question in closing here and it's kind of going back to the whole community of retro gaming and unfortunately this is not the first type of reaction like this you know for something like this and again this is i feel like ebay's way fair game so this is not this the the comment might be good but it's it's not really the appropriate channels to be placing it in but again is this this brings up another question is there um is there a bit of arrogance like to some of the stuff in this community i mean, i don't want to uh have to be calling anybody out specifically and i'm not going to do that right now i just want to make it you know clear that uh it's not it's not going to be welcoming to anybody that's newly stumbling upon retro gaming and wants to get into it if we're kind of uh always defend in our little corner of what we might do specifically important. We need to kind of get over that, I feel, and more do more of a better job of coming together and um, not not portraying. I mean, I understand maybe some of it's like, uh, uh, um, you know, with like wrestling, for example, maybe it's like a, a persona that some people are putting on for YouTube. You never can tell. But I want to just let people... If you have, if you think that there's a, a, anything going on where maybe some other uh, people are just arrogant with the way that they are act like kind of like gatekeepers to a lot of the stuff that has to do with retro gaming, whether it's information or um, parts or anything else, I, I really want us to try to rise above this 
And, and we could do better for all of ourselves if we could work off each other and kind of uh, do better to work together in, uh, in some instances than rather always, again, being defensive about the one little corner that each of us have on either YouTube or online or any kind of, uh, you know, sales presence online, anything. It, we would do much better if we could get together and communicate common goals that um, should be pretty much common for the entire kind of industry. Because it's, it's unfortunate. It's the, the good thing and the bad thing about the internet is it's wide open. Anybody can help contribute. But my, consider, or my concern is that when people act like gatekeepers and can be a little bit arrogant, and again, I'm not calling out anybody specifically because I don't even want to call out Wookie Wen. I don't feel like that's what I'm trying to say here. I'm just wanting to say that overall, if you, if you feel like, you know, um, try, try to avoid that as best we can. We need to try to work together and um, do what we can to make people feel welcome in this community and realize that it's really just about having fun playing video games on some of the sweetest displays that we can find and uh, really just not trying to gouge everybody for like every penny that we could get out of them all the time. Um, so anyway, that's the kind of end of this rant. And again, I'll have information coming on the live stream that we'll be doing soon where we'll be giving away that set of cables. I appreciate buddy, everybody for subscribing and leaving a comment uh, because, again, that's how really I get to know anything is by interacting directly with you. Uh, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way, but if I'm overreacting to, hey, you're welcome to leave a comment and let me know. But I just hope that we can all, you know, do a little bit better to leave like a positive impact on our portion of the community. But uh, that's, again, it for my soapbox today. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time with some more retro content.